Okay, so in this quick tutorial, we're going to run through how to run two geolocated searches. The first uh, we'll do will be in Twitter, and we're going to look at how you can search for a location and find that location in Google Maps. And then we're going to have a look at how you can set up a recipe in if this then that or ifttt com to search a specific location using Instagram. So you can search for pictures that people are tweeting where they've tagged the location, so in a city or a, another location. Okay, so firstly looking at Twitter, we're going to be using the, the regular search over on the top right um, in Twitter here, and you can copy these searches into things like TweetDeck and other applications that use Twitter as well. So first things first, we're just going to have a look at the format for the searches. So what we'll be searching will be a search term and then a location. So in Twitter that will be a latitude and longitude and then a radius. So we're going to grab a location uh, first of all, um, and we're going to use Churchill in Manitoba as the search point um, and then just see if there are any tweets coming out of this remote location. So we're going to jump into Safari or another web browser and specifically into Google Maps. So go to maps.google and search for Churchill Manitoba. If you look up at the URL here, you can see that we have the latitude and longitude uh, listed here. Okay, and that's what we need to specify that location within Twitter. Okay, so let's copy that. So Command and C on the Mac or Control and C on the PC, and then we're going to copy that into our little search that we're building here. Okay, so you can see what the location, the latitude and longitude, and we'll increase this radius to uh, 100 miles, assuming that there shouldn't be too too many tweets uh, coming out of that location. Okay, so we'll copy that, and then we'll come into Twitter and paste it into the search bar hit search and then you'll see there are a couple of different ways of listing the results here uh, one is the top results and one is all okay we're just going to list everything so we can see everything that people are tweeting um, with the location tagged out of churchill manitoba okay okay that's pretty useful but we can also refine that search so we can type in a search term here so we'll get all results where bear is mentioned in the tweets we can type in, okay, so you can see they're already getting some snow up in Churchill. Okay, so that's a quick tip on how to search a location in Google. It's really useful if you're going to sit, if you want to find out what's going on in relation to a specific location. One thing that I do, and sometimes when I'm looking for people who are using, for instance, Photoshop in a particular location, I'll search Photoshop and then the geocode. Um, and then I'll be able to see who's talking about Photoshop. Okay, so we'll have a look at Instagram now, okay? And we're going to do this through a third party app called IFTTT or If This Then That, okay? And in IFTTT, you can search a number of different services online, um, in this case, Instagram, by creating these recipes, okay? So we're going to go in and create a recipe. And the way that it works is if you set a trigger. So If This, we'll look for Instagram down here. There's a trigger on Instagram, so a new photo by anyone in an area. Okay, and we're not going to allow it to search my location for the moment. And we'll use the same location. And it's found Churchill, so we can use that as the trigger. And sometimes this area will show up too large, so we're going to zoom in uh, here and just focus right on downtown Churchill. And then we'll create the trigger. Okay, so after we create the trigger, if anyone takes an image um, within that area, then we're going to get if this and that to perform a function. And in this case, we're going to get it to email us um, a specific command. So it's going to send me an email. Okay, and I've actually got some specific code that I'm going to copy into here. Um, and you can mix up your own information um, with some HTML, but I've got something that's pre um, set up. Um, so you can use the caption, the source URL. Uh, things like the uh, location map, image URL, and so on and so forth. Okay, and you'll see these terms kind of popping up when I paste in the code that I have. So if we jump in to text edit here, I'm just going to grab this chunk of code, and you can see we've got the URL, the source URL, the caption, um, and then the Instagram username here as well. So we can see who's actually posting it from Instagram. This is making an HTML email that's going to be sent to me. Okay, let's paste that in, and we'll create that action. So now it's almost uh, set up. So if anyone in Churchill posts a picture, then send me an email. 
So it's going to send it to my email account here. I'll create the recipe and it's uh, been activated. Now I set a similar one up earlier so I can show you in my email kind of what comes through when people are posting. So if we jump into my email here, um, you can see that we have some posts that have been sent through Instagram. So people arriving uh, in Churchill, I'm guessing this might be the airport, and then people out on a Tundra buggy with a broken tire, which may not be something you want, um, but people are using Instagram up there. And it's a nice way of kind of searching either remote locations or specific things in a certain location, kind of creating a, a neighborhood watch, um, if you like, for a specific location. Okay, so that's a, a couple of ways um, that we can use different web apps to search a location. So first of all, I'm using Twitter to search a specific location. I'm using this format um, or um, in If This Then That, which is a really powerful application. We just kind of touched the tip of the iceberg, so to speak, here. But basically, there's a lot of functionality here that's really useful if you're wanting to grab data from the internet or search something really specific online. I hope this has helped. If you have any questions about Instagram, about Twitter, about setting up searches, about using TweetDeck, which is another application which I really use a lot, then don't hesitate to find me a tweet at Ben Housel, and I'll be happy to answer your question, um, hopefully with a tutorial um, or just one-to-one. -one. And uh, look forward to hearing from you.